This episode sponsored by AwesomeDrinks.com. Use coupon code Valentine14. Save 15% off everything in the store. Welcome to Common Man Cocktails. I'm your host, Eric Schumann. We're with me, Ian Andrews. And I don't know what's going on, but he just, just grabbed my leg like... Yeah. Oh, was that your leg? <laughs> he was trying that, for something That else. wasn't the third one, was it? <laughs> okay. I mean, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That it's was like the third that one. thick. It's girthy. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so now wow. you know, folks. You know what's funny? Within the first 15 Jokes. seconds... No, within okay. the first 15 seconds of YouTube, that's what people decide they're going to watch or not. <laughs> yes, jokes are funny. Okay. So, I think right. we've got an a, a, a spike of, what the fuck? You know, what just like, happened there? Okay. Right. Hey, exactly. perfect. I did it for you. So, Go back and watch it It's all for ratings. And you'll know what yeah. just happened. It's crazy. <laughs> so, oh, oh, yeah, good. Thank you for having me. I was completely going to forget. So We, we got had winners. The, we got winners. This is what happened. Okay. Winners, winners, winners. Chicken dinners, dinners, dinners. We had 10 cocktails for our... Tiki. Tiki cocktail contest for yep. the... Oh, I got rid of my tag bag. It's upstairs drying. They were all really good. For the... Oh. for the Yeah, all of our... All of the tiki recipes were good. Here's the thing. We had to pick five out of the ten we got. We had to pick four out of the ten we got. And at the end of the day, out of all the ones me and Ian picked, Jennifer liked the other one. <laughs> right. So... But we all know how that ended. Right, yeah. So... <laughs> The end result is this, and this is how it goes, because this is supposed to be the results show. This is like American... America's Got Talent? Yeah, America's yeah. Got Talent. Um, so we had five, and we we're going to pick, we got rid of one, and we'd have four winners. We made an executive decision that we didn't want to make five drinks again, yeah. because they're really potent and strong, yeah. and we're already halfway And on. really complicated. <laughs> yeah. So to solve the problem, what I said is, you know what I would rather do? I would rather save my liver and any emergency room vis visits, and... Just say we have five winners, and I'll take one of the, the the Lewis bags from our inventory, and I'll just give that out to the fifth winner. So we have the Funafetti Swizzle, we have Funafetti which was, Swizzle. Was, was was sweet and lovely and awesome. It was tasty. Yeah. The uh, Coronado Islander, Islander from and, Antonin, which is even better because now not only yeah. did he win, but I have to ship it to France. So that's a good time. Oh no, he can be the one that lost. <laughs> <laughs> I don't no have to be, they might also be from other countries. Oh, uh, good point. Spicy West Indies Bubblegum was the first winner. Yep. So cherry, 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 cherry. All like lovely, good juicy cherry. cherry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Good cherry. Not, not like not medicine. Not overpowering in your face. No. Medicine cherry. Like yeah. rolling Antonis awesome bing. Antonis was cherry too, wasn't yes, it? Yes, we had two Antonis cherries. Antonis was cherry, excuse me, but it had other flavors in there too. The other one was very focused cherry. Yep. Yeah. The Caribbean oh, tattoo from Peter from Smart right. Cocktails was. I don't remember good. why that was just tasty. It just had a, oh, it was it was that was the one you're like oh this is gonna kill me. I want some more. This was the one that almost killed no. The, no that its competition her. almost killed Jen. Yes, yeah. that's true. <laughs> so uh, that's so why it was. <laughs> so no, it was it was a good. knockout blow. It was a knockout blow. Yeah, <laughs> okay, that counts. And then the the Coney Coney La, which is the, really the tasty. Stuff. We still have it right here. Yeah. This if I had to pick a number one out of all these, yeah, I, that this is might my be winner. It, yeah, and, and it has nothing to do with the alcohol. Component. Components, but the, the the passion fruit mango mix was was just outstanding. So all of them won. Um, the the Lono was another great cocktail. I'll figure out what to do with the, them because that was just too epic. Yeah, um, and so those are your winners. All of them are going to win the contest. Five of them saved my liver, which leads us into today's episode, which is the Witch Hunter. Witch we need. Hunter. To, we it would be cheesy just to recap what we did and say, oh, here's the winner. We're going to make a new drink because that's what you expect from us. That's what we're going to do. New drink. All nonstop entertainment. Nonstop. Nonstop right now. Beginning with. Oh, it works so good. So, so yeah, right. So yep, what we're gonna works. do is we're gonna make the witch hunter, which is it's an ounce and a half of whiskey and yep. a half ounce of Jägermeister with a rinse of absinthe. So about a quarter of an ounce. This is the new CMC laser engraved. Um, Laser beakers. and grain yes. beakers. So these beakers right here, this beaker we have other ones, modern mixologist mixing beakers. I where I was getting them was so expensive. I was they were and I where I find them they're like forty fifty dollars to buy. Hudson Single Mall is what we're using. This beaker is twenty nine ninety nine, and the reason is I finally tracked down the maker. And when I tracked down the maker, they're like, hey. You want to pay a couple bucks to have your logo put on since you're already going to be putting on the, the Mixologist logo? I'm like, hell yes. So no extra charge because I was already paying extra for somebody else's logo. I might as well put my own. So I did that. Yeah. Boom. I gave them the right size that Branding. I thought would look good and it looked not too big, not too gaudy, but just perfect enough. So now you can buy those on Austin Drinks for $29.99. Of course we have these. So what I'm going to do here is what's called an absinthe rinse. And, you know, I'm just going to rinse I'm gonna it. I'm going to stir this. You like tell this. me about the absinthe rinse. All right. So our absinthe, there's, there's a couple ways of doing a rinse. 
the first way it's this way, and you, usually you see it done on a, um, a cocktail martini glass. Martini glass, yeah. yeah. With vermouth. Vermouth for a martini. Yeah. Right. Now, the other option is you can rinse it with ice in there, and that way the absence stays in the ice as well. Okay. Or vermouth or whatever. And this, and now what you would typically do is you're gonna you're gonna just throw it into a rinse bucket or whatever. I'm just gonna drink it. There you go. Absinthe in your face. Wow. Good stuff in your face with the absinthe. And this is lucid absinthe. I'm gonna throw up. Um, oh, I can smell the uh, black licorice. 62% alcohol by volume. So I am my inner child just died and then came back from the dead. Like That's Phoenix. how powerful it is. Phoenix rising from the dead with the inner child. Or an undead. Yeah, yeah. I think I feel like more undead right now. You, yeah. A green fairy. Green fury. Um, yeah, and then you got to throw some ice in there, right? You know to. But you have now you have the absinthe coated along the edges, and and the goal what? that Dingo, the submitter, I don't know if that's your real name, Dingo. Maybe it is. I don't know. Maybe it's just. Uh, Dingo is still my baby. <laughs> okay. <laughs> is um, absinthe also when you bring water into the picture, which is what you're really supposed to do. You should never do shots of absinthe for a number of reasons. Okay. Um, Going blind, one of them. <laughs> nope, that's masturbation. You're good with that. I thought absinthe could make you blind. Oh, we're also gonna. That was the old. I'm gonna sell these too. Jump strainer. Yeah. Right now that we have the modern mixologist, but I'm gonna change it to the CMC logo when I get a chance. But these are much. Where's the other one? Right here. Right there. So here's the difference for a bar lesson here. Very simple bar yeah, lesson. Yeah, bar lesson. If you're at a bar, you're probably gonna see them using these. This is this is. No matter where you buy them from, it could be uh, a Barconics brand, a Spillstop brand. Um, there's a whole ton of crap loads of brands that make these. This is basically printed off at, in China. Yep. I right. Tell. Super cheap. Literally like for you to buy. Coming in two pieces. You have right. the strainer and the handle, and the handle is tack welded on. Right. Oh, spot wow. welded. Sorry. Spot welded. And and the, the the deal with these is for bars and stuff, and for they're for cheap. our audience, they're cheap, reuse. easy to make. If you're not you're not like I don't need a really crazy julep strainer. I just need to strain my ice out, and I don't want to do it with my hand. This works perfectly fine. Mm -hmm. When you level up and you say, you know what, I want for something for me, level. I want to go to the next level. I want to be able to do something cooler. Then you can move up to something like this, which is all in one Single piece. piece yeah. I believe it's probably stamp. Don't quote me on this. Yeah, probably. Because look at it. There's no no anything. No. Um, I believe this is a made in USA, so it's, it's innately going to cost more. Definitely, I mean, feel heavier, the, right? the, the weight I on can, them. I can look at it. It's heavier. This yeah, is it's, thicker. It's thicker. So yeah, you can tell. And it's, it's got a it's a sh more shallow uh, yep. display to it. And it then is. they can mark them on there with your logos. Oh, okay. Nice. So yeah, it's a different different gauge of steel. Right. It's it's a better product. Either way, you're going to be able to do this with your ice, and your drink is going to be made. The difference is. How you do it? It's like I can make a RC, whoa Jesus. How, how, yeah, how are you do it? I can make a remote control car for with a smaller engine, or I could buy and spend extra money on a faster one. So this is the big engine of Job's training. Exactly. All right. And look, they both hold back ice. You can okay. hold back ice with anything. Well, will this one hold back ice as well as that one will hold back ice? It will, well? and it will okay. cost you half. But. but. It's, it's the coolness factor. When you get into yeah. when you get into being a hobbyist, I mean, you upgrade. This is a better spoon than this the other spoon. <laughs> and, and this is a less. I mean, these are yeah. less better spoon. But when you go to a bar, yeah. their goal isn't to look awesome. At, I mean, some fancy so, bars. So Curtis, some bars step it up. Yeah. Curtis will step it, up. Gonna step it right. up. Right. Yeah. He wants to get the ones with the hash marks, known as a Yari mixing glass. But it's a mixing glass. You can use a large glass or a cup. Yeah. But when you want to move from brushed steel made in China to something the like this, yeah. you're gonna get. You know, it's just a level of quality. It's a quality thing. So the goal is create a drink that doesn't have well, what he wrote is create an absinthe cocktail when I can't read my own writing and I'm spilling it myself. That's a problem. Where absinthe doesn't become the noisy douche. Because <laughs> remember, I had my analogy. I'm like, when absinthe gets into a party, yeah, right? If you're like, absinthe, you walk into a group of your friends, you're like, ah! And you get all crazy. So you're like, how do we get that guy if out of this party? Tequila is it, to use Jim Brewer's. Uh, uh, metaphor the gang of Mexicans that come in through the back door <laughs> Absinthe is the hell's angels that kick all the Mexicans out mm -hmm. and then punch you in the face mm -hmm. And come through the front door. I was thinking more of along the lines of just uh, well He's basing it off of what I said, which was absence the noisy douche And he's like this is to avoid absence being the noisy douche the goal is subtle flavor maybe some anise um, oh, flavor within there. Yeah, there's some anise in there. But it's not, if you just pour this in here, blah, 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 Different, it's yeah. gonna, every, all drinks taste the same. They taste like absinthe. Right. You, you know what, uh, get, 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 like the, get the whiskey, get the bourbon get in here, or whatever um, it is. It's the same the other thing. thing is with and our friend Hunter over there, Jägermeister, yeah, the it's gonna Hunter. bring that 
that extra anise flavor to it. Yeah, the, the Jaeger and the absinthe play kind of interestingly together, don't they? Mm. It only brings that flavor sometimes. Mm -hmm. Jaeger. Mm. And, and with the whiskey, uh, Ooh, this is a, that whiskey's pretty right up in your grill. It is. That's what you is it? Forty six percent. I want a I question. I think we today. might have done this one before, but what is the most reckless thing you've done while drunk? What's the most reckless thing you've done while drunk? That's your mm -hmm. first question of the day. The second Bonus question point, of the day if it is involved your downstairs part for guys. <laughs> penis. <laughs> Hmm. Bonus I don't think I've done any work. reckless penis stuff no. before. <laughs> Draw on it. Second, third question then. Doug tattooed Dora on his penis. When yeah, he, he did. <laughs> did he really? Was that a removable to. tattoo? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah Where the hell do you think a, a tattoo artist would be okay with tattooing Dora the Explorer on your cock? <laughs> hey, if, if you want it, they'll do it, I'm sure. No. no most of them are smart the enough not to do that. The most ones won't. So, Especially if you're drunk. We have got Doug uh, to put a temporary a tattoo. You never know. So and the best thing is, Doug went in the bathroom and put the temporary tattoo on. He came out, he's like, it won't stick. <laughs> he's just not used to take a temporary tattoo off the paper. Yes. He just wets the paper down and starts <laughs> sticking it on his cock. It's not working. So he comes out of the bathroom with his pants down around his ankles like, it's not working! <laughs> I'm like, dude, did you take off the sticker? There's logistical problems with tattooing your dick. If you're enjoying the process, it's going to ruin the tattoo. Right. You're going to have some growth and shrinkage happening. Right. And it's not going to be right. So he's now in our kitchen doing it the right way by taking the paper off. He's, and he, and so Here, you see upstairs? him. Here, upstairs? Yeah, yeah, yeah. When was this? Uh, this was like a year, a couple while years ago. When he first okay. became a, I think he was still, maybe he might have been, at it that time, I think he was a show. guest host. Okay. Um. He was. He was, now. You see him standing behind our counter with his hands going like this because he's pressing it down to keep it on there. <laughs> so, what is this crazy oh, story? Dude, Does it involve your genitals? Second question: Have we asked this question before? It's <laughs> a valid question. But how, do, how, do, how do you how do you like this drink? Um, it's flavorful. It's strong. This is for like big boys. Yeah. Like this is single malt scotch in your face. The, the this is Jaeger single malt horrible. scotch where the scotch is not the potent flavor. Yeah, I mean, the, this bourbon acts like, to me, it's so... Maybe it's the wrong thing uh -oh. for this. You've been recording too long. We're nearing our recording limit. Whatever. Oh. We'll, we'll figure that out. Um, the Hudson Single Malt Whiskey. This is made in a crack bottle of uh, Tullitown... Uh, Tuttle... Tuthill Tuthill Town. Tuthill Town Spirits. Spirits in New York. Huh. Gardner, New York. This is this this came over from uh, Mr. Kern before he left. Nice. Uh, that wherever he was. worked for. Yeah. So that's pretty high end. That's like the scotch of bourbons to me. You're bringing in this with with some herbal. It's cool, but it's still it's a very dominant flavor. Hmm. I have not never had a cocktail that has had such an impact where Jaeger is not forefront. Yeah. And then absinthe. not forefront. So I, I get the Jaeger and I get the absinthe though, definitely. They're, oh, yeah, they're in there. They're there, but they're not like ah, right in your face. It's got a very like almost scotchy bourbony whiskey craziness. To me the absinthe is bit. still the dominant flavor. Really? Hmm. Yeah. It's still the douche. Uh, it's not a douche though. <laughs> yeah, it's it, it it's a dominant flavor, but not in a douchey way. <laughs> not a douchey way. It's it's the friend who's usually like misbehaved. But like you put him in the right party, and all of a sudden he's he kind of cool. A bit. Yeah. yeah, he he can get cool. Yeah. Um, he's in his he's in his element. This has to me it ha almost has like a little bit of a cardboard flavor, and I wow. don't know if that's a good thing. Or I'm like thing. that's not a good sell right there. No, but it, cardboard. no, it's like when you have a red wine and it has like shoe leather taste. Oh yeah, yeah, I you know, know it, what you're It's it's just got all that, the flavors together. You yeah, mean. it's kind of got like a, a like a dark oaky something going on that's mm. very aged oak. Um, so there you go. That's the Witch Hunter. The Witch Hunter. If you're looking to make a cocktail that doesn't have this become your douche, mm. uh, give it a try and see what you guys think. Definitely get the flavor, but it's not a douche. It's a flavorful, but yet very straight spirit, core spirit, no yeah. juice. Completely opposite of what we did this week. Yeah. That's not it bad. It will still wreck you. That's going to hurt. Yeah. yeah. So that's not going to get finished. Because none of these alcohols are very weak. No, they're, we're not watering these down, dude. I mean, Jaeger, Jaeger's the weak one. <laughs> At 35%. Oh, see? It's weak. Bing. That's what happens. You start banging 46. shit together. 46. 50 something. It's, no, 60. 60 something. 62 and 62. A half. But there's only a rinse, so that's not that's not your that's not where devastation occurs. Right. That's just a flavor thing. So that's it. <laughs> We're so shit! We're done for the week! We did it! Yay. Not through. Good job. Oh yeah! Five people win a contest for putting in five times the effort. Lewis bags for everyone! <laughs> Woo! -hoo! 
<laughs> it's like Oprah. And then I can't I, hit those high pitches like you do. I work at it. Uh, That's impressive. Our livers are still intact because we didn't make all of them again. And because it takes a while for alcohol to affect the liver. So give us a couple of years and come back to us. On well, that's cirrhosis all over the place. Um, and then you got to expose you to all kinds of cool, cool tiki glasses this week. <laughs> a lot of cool tiki glasses. Yeah. And uh, we got spit on. And we got spit on. It was <laughs> great. There's a lot of cool you, stuff. You should have shown the black tiki glass. I like that one. The, the speed demon? Yeah. It's, cool. I, it's been on the show before. It's been on the show. But Go I find it on the show. It's pretty yeah, easy. You just good. keep watching every show until you see it. Yeah. And exactly. when you see it, that, there's your, Go back that to, is your homework. <laughs> Go back to Tiki Week with Curtis and find out which one. Don't give it to him. If they start now, I get more views. Edit that out. Ah! <laughs> Go find it. It's in your power. Week. Whatever. Go ahead. You got it. <laughs> awesome drinks, especially if you want to get these now in stock. I've got them up there. It's called the CMC Mixing Beaker. You're done. Really cool. Go pitch. Pitch one. Go buy one. You got those. You got some nice mint juleps. Yeah, those will be out there by the time this launches. You got some spoons coming out. And then the glasses. All good Tons of great stuff for you to spend your money on to help support the show. Macadamia bitters. Dude. Still my favorite bitter. Freaking awesome. I sell a lot of those. You start talking, I make sales. It's a lot. It's a great synergy. It works. That's why he has me over here. It's just for the sales. Yeah, he likes he likes to tell how how it is, which is Awesome. 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 Hey, your shirt says it all. I hope I don't black out because this is awesome. I might black out. We had a long week. Yes. And we finished it with absinthe. <laughs> That's what we do here. We make sure to really amp it up. There is no quitting when it comes to comedy and cocktails. <laughs> when it comes to making awesome drinks, we're there. There's no bowing out. That's right. Mm. But we're going to bow out now. Well, yeah. Okay. Other, other than the normal bowing out. Right. This is everyday drinkers. And I win hardcore gurgle of the <laughs> <laughs> Hardcore gurgle award goes like to Jennifer. Like a Murloc. Sorry. Oh. Like First a time I've seen somebody throw up in their cocktail. <laughs> <laughs> the, Poor Jen. Go to my Instagram. You'll see the pre tiki drink. <laughs> Jetgeek. J e t t g e e k. You can see the the her fisting or, the two tiki. Or if you follow everyday drinkers on uh, yeah, Instagram, you'll follow I tag like, them. Tagged. Yeah, good yeah. tag. There. You've been social networked. You've been taught how to make a drink where the loose is not the loose. You've introduced a new product. You've been. You've been it's just life. like your life is complete. I mean, if you watch the whole week, you learned about Boyle's Law, which is physics. It's science, <laughs> bitch. You should blow shit up right on its face. <laughs> not really. You learned about viscosity with this drink because of the grenadine and the ice sticking to it. There's all sorts of great stuff going on here. We're like Mr. Wizard for cocktails. <laughs> Do you remember Mr. I gotta, Wizard? I got I gotta, some place I need to put Mr. That. We're Wizard. like, no, like, exactly. Like, yeah. We're like <laughs> Mr. Wizard for cocktails. Mr. Wizard for cocktails. And not Bill Nye, the science guy. No! Mr. Wizard. Not those cheap knockoffs from we're, China. We're doing real shit. Right! I'm supposed to repeat. We're doing real shit. And we don't live in a fake environmental house. We don't live in a well, fake environmental house. What? <laughs> Bill Nye and, B and Bigley Jr., they live in these environmental houses. And look it up, they have like environmental house competitions between the two of them. Can, we can, just learn something random. We are always learning something here. <laughs> because we teach you how to drink.